Hello, Savvy VIPs, and welcome back to another episode of Be Kitchen Savvy with Claudia. Today, I will show you how to prep and marinate a Florida Pompano. What is that? Okay, it's a fish that's found off the coast of Florida, and it isn't your average frozen or fresh grocery store tilapia salmon choice. You'll have to go to a fish market to find Florida Pompano, as well as any other uncommon fish variety. I've included a list of ingredients that you'll need for this prep. Florida Pompano is a great fish choice as it isn't scaly and there are no hidden or chokeable bones which makes it safe for kids as well. Okay, I am so angry at myself but for the first parts of this video there are a lot of cut off clip portions that I really wanted you all to see. Although they weren't important, I did think about remaking this whole video but I didn't want you all to miss this Sunday's episode. So stick with me and let's get started. When you buy your fish from a fresh market, normally they'll more than likely give you the option to have them gut the inside and clean it for you. I had mine done as this is why mine is already cut and clean. Here I'm just slightly opening it a little bit more towards the tail. I'm going to start by cutting through the skin of the pompano, creating open entries on either side to allow flow of the marinade and increase flavor intake. The skin is extremely thick, so you're going to have to point the knife down, creating a hold, and then dragging the knife down to make your cut. If you have a knife with ridges, that'll work best. Here is where I did manage to capture everything on the camera and so some of what I wanted to show you I can right here. I'm going to start by pouring the marinade directly into the fish and glazing it with my hands leaving it enclosed in which will do a lot of justice when I go to fry it. All of those flavors can get absorbed into the meat. When you're cooking a fish, especially a deep sea fish, it's crucial that you maximize flavor absorption unless you like the seawater taste. Then I'm going to spill the marinade into the cuts that we made earlier. This is going to maximize the flavor absorption where we wouldn't have been able to get through this pompano's thick skin. And that's also why we cut them in the beginning. I did not include the making of this yogurt marinade, however, it is very similar to the yogurt marinade that I prepared in the episode rotisserie style chicken, only the ingredients are different. You can catch that clip right here above this video. I am not a big seafood lover besides anything to do with fish, crab, and shrimp, and by fish meaning tilapia, so I'm not a seafood daredevil. I've only been making Florida Pompano for the last three years that I've been knowing my husband who introduced it to me. I'm curious to know how open you are on trying new and different seafoods from the three that I've mentioned above. On a scale of 1 through 10, 
Leave your comments below the video with a one, a no, five, a maybe, and 10, a yes. And don't forget to subscribe to get new recipes and tips every Sunday with Claudia. Stay tuned next Sunday and see how I cook this Florida Pompano. You don't wanna miss it. See you in the next video.